It's a good place to start. My dive kick song. <clears throat> anyway, we're playing dive kick. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it li why does it always show as live for you and never for me? I don't know. This is Bologna. Man. Oh yeah, I forgot about Mr. N. <laughs> Dr. Scholes, get it? You get it? We're playing yeah. we're playing Dive Kick uh, for Fighting Game Month. This game is badly great, but real bad. It is it is pretty racist. It's unacceptable. It's not, it is it's unacceptable. I'll play Johnny Gat, because I mentioned Saints Row to the other week. How much murder do I get to do? Select your children. You do it. I keep trying to use the thumbstick. Yeah, don't do that. Dummy. Yellow gem. Yolo. Your duds. Rumpy old old man gat. It still is not showing up. We're gonna panda still. <laughs> I know we're live, but it refuses to show up. So whatever, it's fine. I'm from the green monster candy dispenser for good luck. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Dave probably has one too. Okay. Fraud detection. Morning. Fraud detection. Morning. Round one. Oh, I did a dumb thing. What'd you do? Sunday. Fraud detected. Fraud detected. Look how happy they are, though. You win. Damn it! Why was I so? S S S. I really. I love that noise. How happy they are. Oh no. Yeah, alright. Okay. 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 No more. No more. No, for the love of God. You have to do it too! No. Okay. You heard the cocky SOB. Let's roll. Yeah, I did. Man, I heard him so good. Yeah. Unacceptable. Okay. Let's not do the yellow gem. So, what do any of these things mean? Um, meter is for your, uh, you build a meter, 10% more dive, 10% more kick. You know, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, I'm feeling dive this time, then. I'm feeling meter. I think I want to build a meter to get my special move. I'm still playing as old man Gat, though. Um, still can't. Ah, oh, dang it. No, I've messed it up. Uh, you done did I done diddly goofed it. Always listen to your mother. She might quiz you about it later. That sounds like your mom. Yeah, she's done that before. Yeah, I bet. She has. Yes, from above. Okay, so Whoa. other problem about this game is I don't really remember how to play. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh yes. ball sack. Exactly. You're very good. It's your weak spot. I don't even have one. Head to shit. Damn it. I'm not paying for that. No, okay, well, this is bad. How do I do? Karate. Double kill. Double kill. <laughs> no! Oh, man. I am worse at this than I even remember. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. What that mean? Essentially, like, I am a fraud, is what it's saying. <laughs> Oh, oh, I kicked your missions. So what happens when you do? Yeah, yeah see, I'm a fraud. Because I fight him 100%. What's he got his nose in? I might have pooped myself. Oh, why is he not I don't. I don't really know. I don't want to rematch. Okay. I, re I still don't really know what I'm doing anymore. Round one. Which is impressive because there's two buttons. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Nope, that was bad. Oh no. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Oh no, 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 no. Dang it. Okay. Round 
this oh. off. Oh no. Okay. Down the fire. I want that! No! No! Hey, Kenny, how's our audio? So good. Oh, no. If they want audio, they should go listen to podcasts. <laughs> Speaking of which, you heard any uh, Oh my god. Get out. Redacted wins. Redacted wins. Oh. It sounds like uh like a pug with like a murloc too. I love that you get ranked and not losing. I don't Technique, super stance, super jump. <laughs> Spooby, please. I don't. What? I'm gonna still play. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. You ready for this? I feel a little Your gems. worse. Terrible. Yep. Yeah, you should. Zedek to your duds. Alright, here we go. No better life skin? No, apparently not. about that action. Not everyone likes something on the internet is going to tell you that they like it. But it's Clembo's value pack. Meal sure is great. This was the last time here at Clembo's. Oh, oh wow! She's really different! Holy crap! Ah. <laughs> yeah, my face! Yeah, my face! She's so weirdy! Oh, I like Uncle Sensei in the background. Yeah, it's like Hung Lao. No, false. This is awful. I am so bad. I am so bad. Oh. I like how he jumps up. Karate! Okay, that helps. Okay. Jumping higher? No, 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 no. I've been jumping the highest that I possibly could, and that's been part of my luck. There we go. I didn't realize you could kick in the midst of your jump. Like, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's helpful. That's very helpful. What the hell? I don't know what that was. Not either. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, one one. Yeah, she was really fun until not she losing. Jump like three feet tall. Yeah, we got to get out of here. The cops will be here. Oh, soon. I didn't change our listing. You're right. Sorry, Kenny. This isn't Destiny Two. I've been lied to. Yeah, we'll deal with it. This is America. Let's fix this. BRB. Deal with it. BB. Can't tell. What do we call it? Uh, <laughs> dive hard. I don't know. Dive hard. Okay. All right. Oh wait, it's supposed to be playing Destiny. It's definitely not Destiny. No, it's not. Um, do you want a character select? I assumed you wanted character. Oh select. yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Well, my video is frozen, but my chat ain't. Zedek, do your character. Well, I figured between the two of us, we this guy already. What? Between the two of us, we can we'll have one more stream. Yeah. Yeah. I still don't know what these do. Uh, I don't either. <laughs> yeah. That one, I do know what it does. That one's awful. Yo, yeah, jumps I'm not going to do that one. to your duds. Alright. Panda. You're not a panda, you're like some sort of wolf Look person. at him, he's black and white, he's a panda. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. He's a wolf panda. Wolfanda? Yes, yeah. I'm gonna call him Wanda. Round one, die, kick! Oh, that was close. Wow. What the hell? Round two, die, kick! I think he's wanting to know who can touch him. Oh! That's a good noise. Uh, Round 
Oh, I went backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go backwards by pressing kick on the ground. It's very helpful. I think he's opening a Doritos bag. I honestly can't tell. Did we win yet? Oh, baby. Okay. So what's A and G? What was that? I don't. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't know how to use my special either, which sucks. Ah, dang it. Again. Again. All tied up now. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 Yeah. You think it'd be easier Diving, to use your kicking, skills not when losing. you have, uh, I'm gonna eat it, so I guess we're full. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah, when there are two buttons, you figured you'd know how to use your skills, but you don't. One, two, kick! Yo! It's a little plus there. No. Hmm? A little two, plus there. Yeah, I don't know. Nope, that was so dumb of me. You done the little goose, son. I so did. Oh, it's bad. In the face! Why was I just like... I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! No! Oh, no! A great introduction to fighting games. It wasn't oh. so racist and inappropriate. Yeah, no, that's kind of why I think I uninstalled it now that I would, now that I played it. I really want to know what I'm doing. <laughs> why can't I just sit there and growl? Okay, so there are no other buttons. I figured I'd try. Oh no! Yes. I done goof. Oof. Oh no! That was the first time that's worked out for me. How come you get bounced up super high and I just sort of took over? Uh, because your character's super powerful. I assume. Oh man. Okay. Uh. Uh, let's just. Somebody. Fine, V, can you give me your stick? Uh, he's supposed to be making fun of a really pop, or not really popular, but a, like a well-known fighting game figure. I don't have time for fun, Gus. Uh, that was bad. Uh, your duds. I want to be. Uh, oh, what is this? This is my chemical romance, Doctor Trolls. I think I'm a shade Santa now. Nice. What a cape. Are getting sick beforehand instead of build immunities. Oh. Yes, come above. Salt. No. Iron something. Holy crap! You still destroyed me. How'd you get so up there? I don't know, man. My money. No. No. She's weird, dude. How do we? <laughs> no, I got curb stomped in the air. This is the worst. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, she's oh, bad. The wrong way. She's yeah, real bad. Not good. She's real. That's what the other woman is like. I can't remember her name. Kung Pao. Kung Pao, yeah. And, yeah, wow. just on a rampage. No, you cannot. 
<laughs> That's sad. Oh, uh, this game is very offensive, and I've forgotten about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure is. You get it done. Statistically, I always win. Select your choice. Let's test that. Well, his name is Dive in a game called Dive Kick. So even if he doesn't win, he comes first. I'm sad that these are all just like different color palettes, not the costumes. Yeah, no. This game is too ghetto. Too. I feel like it's gonna be really hard to see you and figure out where I'm aiming. Maybe. Yes, from above. Round one, dive kick. Yep. Headshot to him in the face. Round two, dive kick. Nope, couldn't get away from that. You're easier to hit than I thought. <laughs> now I'm not gonna be. Oh, no! In the dick! Statistical no. anomaly! <laughs> oh, no! What? Round five, dive kick! Velocity. Oh, I can go straight down. Oh, no, 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 no. Round six. Oh, man. Oh, no, I tried to jump, but I didn't. <laughs> that is a problem. Yeah, yeah, this is bad. What the heck? I think I figured out how to do the special move. That's horseshit! <laughs> That's not that I've kicked out the sword! <laughs> what did I do? I'm not gonna find out. Oh no! No! No, no, no! Damn it! Darn it! Shit! Oh no! <laughs> Why'd you do cartwheels? I don't know! Because I saw I could. <laughs> How'd you do it? Uh, it's uh, jump and kick at the same time. Who'd have thunk? I did that. Bad. You have two, though. B A D. But you have two things. Yeah. Does it just like go up off. part way? I don't know. I don't no. get this game. It's so confusing. Oh, that is such horseshit. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> Oh no! Eat it! Uh, no! Uh. no. I like the little panda dog guys in the back. That would be great dive kicks. <laughs> oh no! Round four! Dive kick! What the heck was that? No! I was just trying to get my sword! No, That's no. what happens when you do cheap ass no, shit. Kick. No. Okay. That's not us. Twitch is being so bad. No. Six. Nope. Not right, gonna be me. Not gonna be me. I like his hair. SSA. There's always the established perimeters. Yeah, his hair's real good. Okay. I still don't really know what I'm disconnected from chat. Holy shit. Do you What do you think we're doing here? I mean just playing some games. We should put our phone numbers out so people can just text us. Yeah. West Philadelphia born and raised. Oh my wow, god. That's so bad. Gosh. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh -huh. Do you bring? Your, your brain? Okay. <laughs> Always respect the pipes, as Uncle Sensei. I'm not really sure what kind of pipe he's talking about, and I don't know that I want to I know. Think, you know. Just do one kick no, no. so I can just see it. How did you dive face first, and I still kicked you in the nuts? No, no. no. I love Uncle Sensei. 
Are you gonna spend the entire fight that way? <laughs> okay. Shit. Isn't the background there? I'm not even a vendor. Drunken monkey only works in real fighters. What the heck? Oh, he looks so heroic. Oh, jeez. I did the wrong thing. Yeah. Isaac, that should have zagged. Yeah. Six. I get it. <laughs> we should go to Comic-Con and cosplay. I do not want to cosplay anything from this game. Yeah, dude, let's see Uncle Sensei. No, dude. We can be like... Like, uh... We can be alternate time with the snake. Hi. Yes. Spent too much time being drunk on the ground. I am really bad. I like your boots. Yep. Hey, do you have any food? Uh -huh. Um, I feel like you are much better at fighting games than you let on. Either that, or I'm much more garbage than I thought I was. Um, it's it's got to be one of those two. I it's think. Got to be one of those two. Really calling this much of a fighting game as a stretch? Like, I think if we put in like Dead or Alive or something. Oh. It would be like really like. Do you depth, Very great depth fighting games. Uh, I uh, I don't do well. So like Soul Calibur, where you can just find like a cheese move or something. I told you, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Yeah. I played uh, Cabal, and it was left, right, something. It was your dash, and I just did that over and over, and I just got to go to the time to get that one dash. I'm going to be the lead singer of Offspring. <laughs> <laughs> the key to failure is trying to please everybody. Thanks, Uncle Sensei. Really yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one. What the shit? What? My ego grows. Get it? Okay, give me again. Does it get bigger again? Oh my yeah. god. Yep, keep going. Okay. Well, I'm not. I want this to be like a. I need to see how big the head gets. It gets real big. What if you get to, to four and you win and it pops? And then I just I'm like, wow, this is so weird. This character is odd, dude. Fraud detection warning. Fraud detection warning. Nando, I I kill. Oh, what an epic! Fraud detected. Fraud detected. Oh. I hate him. Yeah, I do too. I hate him so much. He's he's based on another. He's got to be based on another, like, person who plays fighting games. He's just got to be. Ah. Yikes. Yikes. All right. Buddha rocks the You're Almighty. You're not sending me to the cooler. Zerik, you chill. I still don't know what any of these do. Zerik, to your duds. Don't be Mr. Freeze. Heavenly Kenny. Why are you Bobby Hill? Dick, come above. Oh, it's my bat cave. Oh, I'm so glad. One, dive kick. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> I am fucked. I'm so hosed. Does he do that every time? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Well, that worked out alright. It did. I was trying to kick, but I don't do that. Yeah, that's not good. That's awful. That's bad. That's real bad. That's like calm and calculated all the time. Oh! <laughs> Uh -huh. I can't figure out the, the time no, on swing, because it seems like the same time regardless of the arc of the, of the, the rope. Uh-huh. I keep trying to do, like, actual rope okay. No. That's weird. Oh, 
This is working in my favor a lot more than I expected. <laughs> That's weird. Got an apartment <laughs> on the cliff so I can live on the edge. Alright, I wanna try that again. Uh, okay. This is weird. It hasn't been bad. It served me well. Whoa, what was that? Why do I keep doing that? What? I am so confused about what the hell is going on. How did I not do that with all the last maps? Oh! But I can get it, dude. This game is so sweet. Is that good? Oh, no! No, no, no! Oh, what? I didn't jump high enough, I guess. No, I just swung right back into the ground. <laughs> so funny. At a certain point, I just love swinging. Oh! Oh, I want that shit! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh no, not my nads! Not my nads, why? That didn't have like a bad I feel like that's kind of what this character is. Okay. Oh, no. I feel like I just did something cool, maybe. Yep. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that got dark. Oh, wow. You're back. You did that <laughs> thing you did. Okay. Yeah. I don't either. I'm not really sure what's going on. But I'm okay with it. Okay. Oh! I was just ready for the coffee. Yeah, it is. It's my time. Oof. Yep, there we go. Nothing to do there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Just sit and wait for it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Crime detection warning. Don't you give me that crime detection warning. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh my bad. Detection save. Six. Oh. Oh man. Okay. All right. Getting really ill. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Wins. What about popcorn? Oh! That's a C. What chance did you have? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, welcome to Two More Tryhards post stream breakdown uh, with your hosts, Peter. Hi. And Morgan, or at NerdWellRounded on Twitter. Hi again. And at BeardedCatholic on Twitter. And uh, we just finished playing Dive Kick. Yeah. And we I feel had pretty finished. We, you what? I feel pretty finished. I feel very finished. Yeah. Yeah. No, not playing that game. Um, I'd like to say ever again, frankly. I, I don't think I'm going to go back to that one. Maybe on mute. Maybe on mute. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah. 
Uh, because, like, the core of that game is actually pretty fun. Oh, yeah. That Mechanically, it's fantastic. Mechanically, it's very entertaining. Uh, it's, for those of you unaware of what Dive Kick is, it is a 2D fighter uh, where the only... It's a, it's a two-button game. You can jump and you can kick. That's it. That's all you need. And the only way to defeat your opponent is to basically do some sort of attack on them, mostly going to be a dive kick of some sort. Um, there are variations on what those buttons do contextually, but that's that's pretty much all you need to know. And as such, it's a great kind of entry for fighters in terms of like spacing and timing. Um, and there are certain characters that do different things that you'll have to look out for that you may not see uh, with other characters that you play as. Um, so yeah, it, it's very fun. Yeah. It's also horrendously offensive. I don't know that it's horrendously offensive. It's definitely offensive. It's a, okay. Well, it's it's at the very least offensive. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. To me, it's offensive, horrendously offensive, because I it's not like there there are certain things of South Park that are that are kind of irredeemable. Yeah. Um. And and Dive Kick kind of just hits that line. Yeah. 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 And then just doesn't look back um yeah in and it does actively make fun of uh people within the fighting game community yeah which is also not great no matter what they've done yeah it goes a little bit beyond like you know i'm laughing with you not at you no yeah, i'm laughing at you definitely i'm laughing, laughing real hard you. at you um vo'd by what is presumably a i i, I don't know it, it's just a terribly butchered uh consistently offensive broken english yeah uh go watch a youtube video for three minutes you'll get it you'll get it or yep. watch our stream you'll hear it weird um yeah not not a huge fan but it is really fun unfortunately or fortunately depending on yeah which. no i'm really bummed because it's a very like simple entrance into a fighting game and it like is. learning the timings and learning your distances yep but you gotta listen to and watch some pretty gnarly stuff. Yeah, I mean it is rated teen, um, and some it's it's really weird because it could very easily be an E rated game. Yeah, if they just mute it. Well, no, because some of Gat's like oh yeah yeah, text yeah. stuff yeah. is pretty offensive. Yeah, uh, it, is he a DLC thing or is he like part of the game? He's now part of the game. Okay. Um, it it does some you know some references so it's like Johnny Gat the character mm -hmm. from Nidog, it's it's an entertaining game it's interesting mechanically. Mm -hmm. um, I've played it before obviously Peter this was your first time playing it. I'd watched it a little bit I never actually played it. Okay so I mean walk me through it what was it like? Uh, it was surprisingly quick to figure out the timing. Um, it felt like a really like nice gradual progression of figuring out how characters worked. Yeah. Uh, I played from the get-go to something very fast, jump up, kick fast, and yep. that's about it. And uh, didn't really figure out how to use them until the very last match of the game when I sat there and growled until I could do a pretty much useless, in my opinion, aerial maneuver. I, d I wholeheartedly disagree. Your aerial maneuver, you could literally hold, hold yourself in air and wait. Oh, no, it kicked me off after a little bit. Oh, did it really? Yeah, yeah. No, it oh, kicked me off real quick. I, I never okay. voluntarily jumped off the wall. It, it kicked me off. Uh, that's a little disappointing. So, yeah, if I maybe built the meter up a little more, it could have been useful. Maybe. But okay. I feel like uh, the types of characters we were playing, it wasn't particularly useful. Because no. we never spent a lot of time on the edge. Yeah. Um, unless we were, like, nearly knocked out and that, whatever that state is. Knocked I out. wanted, when, when you have the... the you get the headshot, and then you're like sort oh, of dazed. Oh, like dazed. Yeah. yeah. Dazed, I, for some yeah. reason, I want to call it drunk, but I, I don't think that's not. it. No. Yeah. Anyway, though, it felt like a really nice, like, natural progression, figuring out your timing and your spacing and having it be a two-button game and not having to worry about, you know, 18-button press combinations yep. is real nice. That's always what really makes me shy away from fighters mm -hmm. is that level of memorization that I just don't have the interest or coordination to do. Fair enough. Um, which is interesting considering I was able to do the Fire and Flames intro without the screen. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess to each their own. Yep. Uh, but it was nice being able to just know, like, this is what my ability is going to do when I'm in the air, and this is what it's going to do on the ground, right. and not have any, like, you know, having a minor mistake in your button combinations do a completely different move and throw you under the bus. Um, yeah. I felt like it gave me a lot more wiggle room to screw up. 
Yeah, it definitely which I think is very important for me. There's a particular fight that we had where I played some sort of like character in a straight jacket, and you played uh, Kung Pao, yeah, like a lady with a like Kung the Lao's floaty lady, hat yeah, thing. Um, where we both were just kind of trying to get one another, but didn't really know what was yeah, going we on could. with our characters. Um, and so, yeah, I think that wiggle room is definitely apparent, given that, like, they, there are some times where you legitimately just have no idea. Yeah. And you're just trying to figure out your character. Yeah, well, there are a couple times where we just, like, stopped and both landed before we tried to do anything, because we just literally were jumping past each other yep. over and over, which is a long time in a 20-second game, which I still can't believe we actually hit that timer a couple times. We did. I was really surprised. Yeah, we did hit that timer. Yeah, uh, matches are super fast-paced, 20-second rounds. Uh, the way that they determine a winner rather than who has the lowest health, because there is no such thing as health in this game, is they draw a line in the middle of the screen and they say whoever's closest wins. Yeah. So you're consistently trying to dive closer to one another and possibly kill each other in the process. Yeah. Um, which is a, kind of a genius now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I will say that the unfortunate thing about this game, at least for me, is that uh, not only does the the kind of offensive nature of the game wear on you, but the uh, the discovery aspect of like, oh, the, this character's new and interesting dies out kind of Really quickly. fast. And then once that's gone, there's not a ton of meat in the game to keep playing. There's another game that I'd like to show you at a certain point that I think does a lot of what Dive Kick does, but a little bit better. And one may argue that it might have a little bit more depth. I'm not really sure that's the case either, but it's called Samurai Gun. Um, and it's a four-player versus arena where you play okay. Samurai. And you each have a gun with, a, I believe, a singular bullet. Or maybe it's three bullets. Something along those lines. Not very many. Not very many. Uh, not enough for it to count. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, so it really focuses on spacing. Mm. It focuses on timing. It focuses on... Uh, space management and all of those things are done really well but also masked under something that seems very very accessible mm -hmm. similar to something like smash bros where mm -hmm. there's a lot going on if you're willing to start digging deep yeah. into those mechanics but at its core you can just play it as a party game and have yeah fun. and that that's is how what, i play it yeah oh same um and that is one thing that i would once again knock against dive kick is like it does kind of have a niche uh player base i would mm. say like if, if you can stomach kind of the the offensiveness of the game mm. and you like fighting games this is probably going to be a game for you mm. if that's not something you can stomach or you're not really into fighting games there are probably better instances of of learning and mastering some of the techniques that are given in this fighting game in others i don't know i like i i'm totally on board with the offensiveness but uh like I, I tend to think I'm generally pretty bad at fighting games, mm -hmm. but that actually felt pretty fun for me mechanically. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like that would be something that as somebody who doesn't typically play it, like, I, I could see having somebody that also doesn't play probably stick around for, like, half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. And I think that's more a matter of, like, the the meat of the game rather than, you know, the lack of um, interest or accessibility. Just there's not very much to do, so you don't do very much. Rather no. than I've lost interest, so I'm going to stop playing. Right. Um, I, I think you, I, I think you could play it until you've sort of felt like you've exhausted it, rather than gotten bored with it. Yeah, I to me like getting bored with it and exhausting it are almost one and the same. Mm. Um, because I get to a point in the game where it's like, and I, I'm good. Mm. Um, and I think for me, like that's that's where it bums me out at, mm. as a game. Uh, because most fighting games, like, yes, if I'm getting my, my like, butt kicked mm -hmm. consistently, then I'm like, okay, maybe maybe can we play something else? Yeah. But um, with Dive Kick, it's not even, like, a matter of, like, getting my butt kicked consistently. Like, it's just, at a certain point, I'm like, okay, I, I've plunged the mechanical depths. I've played the characters that I wanted to play. I think I've mastered some of the things that I wanted to really master out of this. I'm good. Like I don't. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I suppose I felt pretty comfortable with a couple characters by uh, by the end of the stream. Um, and so for me, like that's I think, as from a gameplay perspective. So I mean, barring barring the fact that it is offensive, right? Barring barring that aspect, from a gameplay perspective, like I do get kind of bored with that kick. 
Um, it's it's a game that I could jump into for maybe like 15 minutes at a time with someone who's like, hey, let's play a game or two of Dive Kick. Um, but it's not a game that I would I would go to on a consistent basis, and and I think that's kind of what. Yeah, me it's a not bit. a game I'd pay for. No, no, and that's but you're that's that's, the thing. that's what I'm thinking. You're like, asked to, like, yeah. and and I don't think I don't think it requires the the time commitment that warrants doing that. No. What what did it cost you? Honestly, I don't remember. I I think I want to say at most I probably paid about five dollars for okay. it. Okay. Um, which if you're gonna price point it, that feels okay. I don't know. Honestly, it feels like a ninety-nine cent iOS game to me. It, and that's that is kind of the issue. Is like it, it doesn't look too far off from a ninety-nine cent iOS game. Um, are you looking up how much it costs? I am indeed. How much? How much are we looking at? We will see very shortly. Okay, because I know for a while I think it was asking for a fifteen-dollar price. Point. Oh hell no! Yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh Um, and I don't think I paid that much. I hope I didn't pay that much. It's been, I've owned this game for a while, and I told you midstream. Uh, that I did five dollars. Uns- five dollars. Okay, yeah, yeah. I did uninstall this game at a at a point just because I was like, you know, this is horribly. If I, like I f- I find this horribly. Offensive yeah. I don't want to play this anymore. Um, I don't I don't want to. Um, what's the word? I don't I don't want to support this game. It yeah, it makes me think of like a game I would have really enjoyed in like the end of middle school, early high school. Yeah. And been like, let's go back and play it when I'm like my mid to late twenties and realize that it wasn't really funny. No. No, and that, I think that's now barring the gameplay perspective. Like it's hard to come back to a game that if the gameplay's solid, but everything else around it feels kind of rotten. Yeah, it's hard to warrant wanting to go back. Yeah, uh, because I, I, it just it makes that it sours that package even more. Yeah, I can't for the life of me remember what it was, but there was some movie or show I recently went back to that uh, I remembered very fondly from mm. early high school and right. watching it's like oh nope. no i shouldn't have, uh-uh. nope. that's bad that it's uh it's a difficult package to recommend mm-hmm. and, it, and it's i don't know it's even more difficult because it's not like this is not a game i would just hand out to friends and say like just yeah you know no reservations play this game yeah um which i think is is kind of the biggest difficulty for me with, mm-hmm. with dive cake because I, I love the idea uh, the fighting is is pretty fun, mm-hmm. but it, it does wear thin over time. Uh, and if if the gameplay is going to wear thin, and on top of that, it's pretty offensive. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, mm. um, where like games like Samurai Gun, I could play for hours mm-hmm. into the night, or Smash Bros. I could play for a very long time um, and not have any problems. I don't know. This this package has has not aged well. It is fun. I will give it that. Yeah. Um, but I'd say even that goes so far before... I, like, by the end of stream tonight, I was... You know, I could have played a couple more rounds, but it's... I was... Like, I was done. I felt, I, I felt okay getting off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, like... I When we first started playing, I was super impressed with the gameplay. Yeah. And I thought, like, well, that was a little racist. We'll move on. But I assumed that, like, that was maybe... A character or two? Nope. It was all of them. Yeah, it's it's so like it, five minutes in, I was saying like maybe I'll get this game. It's probably only like five bucks, and right. by then I'm like I don't think I'm gonna buy this game. No, yeah, it's it's not it's not worth your money, and and unfortunately I bought it before knowing. Yeah. Kind of what was in it, and then learning what was in it, and saying mm-hmm. like nope, never maybe mind. Not. It's entertaining mechanically, but it, it's not. I I don't think it has enough depth to keep players coming back. Mm. I, like I can't. Unless you and your friends are like super dive kick fans mm-hmm. and have some sort of dive kick party. Like, it, it, fighting games live or die on their fan base. Yeah. They just do. Mm-hmm. Uh, even even games like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, right? So this, mm-hmm. this game is solely supported based on the player the player base alone. It wasn't included at Evo, which is a major blow to the game as a whole. Yeah. Um, and then players still got together. They played the game that they wanted to play mm-hmm. outside of Evo and still played their own tournament. So mm-hmm. there was enough of a support for this game to say like, hey, no, we, we still love these games. We still mm-hmm. want to play this game. Um, Dive Kick, even though it kind of takes it back to its roots and, and you know, just strictly spacing with some, some flavor added in mm-hmm. and some timing and, you know, whatever... It's just not enough in this game to be like, yes, we're we're gonna create a scene, or we're, yeah. we're going to have a bunch of friends over, and we're we're gonna play dive kick. Like yeah. you can't do tournaments yeah, yeah. dive kick. There's just not enough 
here. Real fast tournaments. Real, real fast tournaments. And so at the end of the day, like it is, it's comparable to a 99 cent like iOS game, mm-hmm. but it's five bucks and it's racist. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I. This game would have been such a hit like 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, back in the day when we weren't so sensitive. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, it would have been great 15, 20 years ago when it could have been like uh, out with like Conquer on the N64. Yeah, yeah, I think it really that would have been a good really time for it. Would have excelled, uh, and back when South Park was still relevant. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, so I mean, I think I, I don't have anything more to say on Dive Kick. Do you? Nope, I do not. Okay, well, uh, so this is two more tryhards. What we do is we hit up our highs, our lows, and we hit the tryhard scales which we will explain here in a second peter uh talk to me about your low of of uh duck kick would it be weird to just say the racism again no i don't think so i guess the the continued racist jobs like, yeah i don't know it felt like the game was just built on stereotypes it is like it is like just they, they didn't feel like a lot of originality in it but yeah my only low is that it was uh I didn't really feel like a lot of originality for sort of an original concept for a fighting game. Yeah. It was a really interesting mechanic with just a bunch of really bad played out stereotypes. Yeah, it's it I think my the word that comes to mind is hackneyed. Yeah. It like it, it's sad because it does squander what would be a very interesting mechanic mm-hmm. on a very stale racist painting i get like it, it's it's everywhere you can't escape it it's all over the game um which is just really frustrating i've got it we should make our own original game slide kick mm. yeah we should do slide punch so it slide punch yeah, okay so it doesn't uh seem like we're you know blatantly ripping off blatantly anything ripping it off, yeah. yeah i get that i really i really get that i think my low is you know, if I'm if I'm barring the racism, if I'm barring the offensiveness of the game as a whole, uh, then it just doesn't stretch out very much. Mm-hmm. There's there's not there, there's not enough in that game to justify a five dollar price tag. Yeah. To you know want to play it more than an hour or so, or to even. Well, no, I was going to say to bring people in, but if it wasn't as offensive, you could pretty easily bring people in mm-hmm. with it. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's just... as Gameplay-wise, it is entertaining, mm-hmm. but it's just not quite enough, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, but those are our lows. What's your high? None of the characters really appeared to play how they initially appeared to play. Yeah. So I don't know that I'd go as far as to say depth, but that there was a little bit of nuance to characters, I guess. Yes. Uh, yeah. So that was a really nice surprise, uh, playing as Dr. Scholes, mm-hmm. having, like, I, I said multiple times, I hate floaty characters. I don't right. like that lack of control. Right, right, right. And all of a sudden realizing it had, like, the most precision out of all the characters I'd played so yes. far. Yeah, That was a really nice surprise, being able to, uh, to figure out stuff like that. And yeah. Again, just that uh, gradual understanding of how each character plays. Um, and not really having it ever feel like a different character. I know a lot of fighting games that I've played in the past, you play a character and it seems like a really simple thing, and then all of a sudden there's you, you realize you've been playing it wrong, you didn't know what you are doing at all, right. and this is how you're supposed to. I never right. really had any of those moments where I'm thinking, this is how I'm supposed to play this character, just this is how I can play this character. Right. Yeah, I, I would agree but I, to me, like I'd word it a little differently. My my high was just kind of this sense of discovery mm-hmm. in Dive Kick. I think Dive Kick does what it does well is that it's a very simplistic idea with a couple layers uh, for each character that kind of drastically can change mm-hmm. what that simple idea looks like. Mm-hmm. And so um, I really I really appreciate when games are able to convey something simplistically, but then give you enough meat on there. Mm-hmm to really make it worthwhile. Now, on the complete opposite side of the spectrum, we have something like Blaze Blue, mm-hmm. Cross Tag Battle, which is super easy mm-hmm. once you learn how to do it, but learning how to do it is a 20-minute process. Yep. And so it's a very it's a very fine line yeah. to hit. 
Yeah, no, it uh, it kind of makes me think of, and this this isn't going to make any sense, but I promise I'll get there. It makes me think of the Mega Man X games. Okay. Where you've got a franchise that is known for being just obscenely difficult start to finish, mm-hmm. making it a little bit more simple, mm-hmm. adding a lot more movement and depth to it, but mm-hmm. having you learn it in a very natural manner. Yeah. Um, I think of early on where you drop down into a pit and the walls start closing in. So mm-hmm. what do you do? You just sort of flail at the walls and you realize you can wall jump. Oh, it's that nice. same sort of feeling yeah. of this where you just sort of flail around until you realize okay. how to repeat a thing yeah. and you, you keep doing it and you just gradually build your repertoire that way. Yep. Yeah. No, absolutely. The sense of discovery is really nice and it, and it, that discovery becomes progression, mm-hmm. um, which is, is, is just very, it's a very pleasant feeling. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So those are our highs and lows. Uh, Peter, zero to three tryhards. How hard is it to enjoy dive kick? I suppose it depends on your sensibilities. So I'm just going to go right smack in the middle and say one and a half. All right. Okay. I'm going to go 2.5. This game, it, it's just offensive. Like, it's just, <laughs> that's, that's really all there is to it. It's just offensive. There is a reason that I uninstalled it from my hard drive. There is a reason I didn't really look back. Uh, and I had kind of forgotten that when we decided to play it tonight, or when I suggested it for, for tonight. Um, and so it was a little disappointing to be reminded of that. Yeah. I think Uh, it's important to note too, that you didn't recall all of it. No, it didn't stick that way. No, it did not. Um, I just remembered the core mechanics Mm -hmm. of the game. And so to realize that it really is kind of a sour package, uh, in, in it, in its entirety is really disappointing Mm -hmm. again. Yeah. (laughs) Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those mileage may vary sort of things. It is, it is offensive. Yep. I don't think there's anyone... I don't think there should be anyone who says otherwise. Uh, but there are going to be people who look at this game and say, oh, I, I think it's fine. Yeah, no, I can think of probably half a dozen people right now that I could hand it to be like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah. And, and uh, then the rest of the people that just think it's inappropriate. Yeah. And so that's why I'm going to give it a 2.5. I mm-hmm. think there's a, there's a 0.5 out there that are going to still enjoy this game for everything about it but should they i i, I would argue no <laughs> um <laughs> so uh let's let's move on zero to three tryhards how hard is it to get good at dive kick um well it's a fighting game so i hesitate to go with any like real absolute answer since we played so little mm-hmm. i'd say probably a one it felt like it wasn't too difficult to get a uh, a good feel for how each character worked right when we actually you know dedicated some time to a character we we figured it out yeah uh, I felt like the labeling for the attacks was, for the most part, pretty clear labeling. Right. Um, that being said, knowing what to do against a character, I got run over by a car. Yeah. And it, it took me like two more rounds before I was like, oh, that was his attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't just a, a, a scene from the level. Yeah. It was, it was an attack. It I got hit by attack. a car because it was a ground attack. And that seems like a cheap move, too. It was, was great. You jumped over it the second time. I though. did. I figured it out the second time. Yeah. Yeah. You learn to get out of the way of cars eventually. Yeah. Only got to get hit once. Yeah. Oh, that was such a that was such a good discovery moment, yeah. too. Oh, man. I'm um, glad one of us enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, fighting games are fun in, in the way that... I, I've explained it over chat a couple of times. I think fighting games are, are very similar to things like chess, where it is uh, a game of logic, uh, but very highly sped up you know you're trying to anticipate your opponent's moves you're trying to read what they're going to do um and you're trying to understand how best to counter your opponent and so dive kick really dilutes that in a phenomenal way even even as a diluted game a diluted fighting game Mm -hmm. dive kick still has kind of a weird difficulty curve to it Mm -hmm. i think it's a natural one as we said with like progression discovery etc but i still think like it has a decent amount of depth to where it could be a two to me. Mm-hmm. There were still there are still characters in this game that were difficult to play as mm-hmm. and difficult to pull off well. Yeah. And we still had matches where we were like, ah, mm-hmm. that didn't go how I expected, or I don't think I learned the character the way yeah. I expected. That's not how you do that. Yeah, exactly. And so as a fighting game still consistently because you are playing against other people like i don't think it has the highest skill ceiling so maybe maybe i'll drop that down to like a one five Mm -hmm. um 
but yeah, I, it's still it's still got that a little bit of that fighting game mm-hmm. competition difficulty yeah. of just playing with someone else and and not always being able to read. So yeah, I guess a one point five to a two for me. Yeah, for, it, for get good. It felt uh, it felt really balanced compared to like most fighting games I've played too. Like mm. balanced when you're not at the skill ceiling. Right. Um, I I'd be curious to go back and look and see what our our win loss was for each of us. But yeah. it never felt like really heavily swayed one way. No. Or the other, like there were a couple occasions where it was like, "Oh, I won three in a wo- in a row," and then you won three in a row, mm-hmm. and it, it felt very back and forth. Yeah, and that's that's the one <laughs> thing about a game like Dive Kick is once you strip away a lot of what makes modern fighting games more complex, mm-hmm. you get a game that's more based on very basic, almost instinctual button mm-hmm. presses and timing and that sort of thing. And so when that happens. It does. It becomes a much more evenly matched yeah. sort of thing, provided that the two coming to the table are equally matched yeah. in those things. And yeah. so, um, yeah, I, I think that it, it did a great job for us both in the sense of, and, and plus, there's not a whole lot of like getting super mad because mm-hmm. the mechanics aren't super deep. So yeah. it's never well, like Well, it's that. another one that's got fast turnaround too. Like, yeah. You win or you lose when you make a connection. You don't, you know, spend five seconds getting juggled yeah and then getting comboed out with the next hit yeah and that's like that's the difficulty of playing with someone who's super good at uh, at a specific fighting game mm-hmm. but not being very good at that specific fighting game yep. yourself is like just getting rolled and not knowing exactly at where you need to start yep in order to get good and, yeah and with a with dive kick there's not there's not really any place you need to start mm-hmm. to get good you just got to turn the game on yep but as we've said frequently during this this podcast do you really want to turn the game on yeah i think that's pretty much it that's all i got okay that's that's it for us two more tryhards uh first of all we appreciate you listening thank you guys so much for for listening for watching us on twitch.tv slash two more tryhards all of our streams go up monday nights normally at around seven o'clock is, is generally what we try to hit um you can find all of our videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, we don't have a URL, so just go ahead and do a YouTube search for two more tryhards and you'll eventually find us. If you like what you hear and want to support us in bigger ways than just listening to us, uh, you can find us on patreon.com slash two more tryhards where we have very various tiers, including one with the tryhard treasure trove. Uh, or treasure chest, I think is what I called it last time. Something like that. Something like that. Where it's you, a fifteen dollar one on Patreon. Yeah, where you get a you get three games curated from us, uh, like Warcraft three. What was the game called? Like I've never Reign of Chaos. Reign of Chaos. There it is. Uh, Limbo or Diablo. Uh, Lords of Destruction. I almost forgot that one too. Man, I'm nailing it. Uh, but yeah, you can find us on patreon.com slash two more tryhards. Please uh, consider donating if you find it in your heart to do so. You can also subscribe to us on twitch.tv slash two more tryhards. We appreciate that. You can find us on Twitter at our various handles. Jordan, our third member of the tryhard trio, is not here tonight, but he is at that guy Jordan. Peter is at Nerd Well Rounded. And I, Morgan, am at Bearded Catholic. You can also hit us up at two more tryhards on Twitter just for general queries. And if you have any questions, constructive criticism, or just want to tell us something, uh, two more tryhards at gmail.com is where you can get us for more serious stuff. And please remember to give us a review on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts at, wherever podcasts are sold. Five stars is awesome. Four stars is great. Three stars is not amazing. And if it's two stars, let us know what we can do better to make this podcast a five-star podcast um, because we really want to keep making this content for you guys. We enjoy making this content. We hope you guys enjoy listening to it as much as we enjoy making it. And I think that's about it. Did I cover all our bases? I think so. Okay. I will never pleasure myself to dive kick ever again. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably good.